Welcome back to The F Word, a series about adopting a kid from foster care. You have plenty of time. No, I don't. She's at 1230. Okay. I'm just nervous. Wow. I'm just really, really nervous. Okay. You're going to be great. Okay. What's there to be nervous about? Um, Sharon's, like, in charge of the future of our family. Okay. Okay. Bye. Love you. Love you. She's got keys. Here she goes. I got my keys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, have you or your spouse ever experienced any of the following? Just wait till I'm done and tell me what. Incarceration, I mean, just say yes when it comes up. Okay. Okay. Incarceration, military, combat, bankruptcy, interrupted pregnancy, infertility, juvenile detention, death of a child, witness or experienced violence, had a child adopted, had a child abducted, domestic violence, or none of the above. You or your spouse. Yeah, none of the above. Which of the following have you or your spouse used? Barbiturates? No. Okay. Club drugs, like ecstasy? No. Cocaine, crack, qualudes, methadone, no. heroin, morphine, opium. I don't even know what half of those are. <laughs> but I should say that my dad found a dare. We might have role-played this home study before walking into it. Yeah, watch out, Sharon. You haven't met the perfect parents until you've met us. Do you or anyone in the household possess or view any sexually explicit adult magazines, videos, internet sites, or similar material? Oh, this wait. is ever watched a porn? Yeah, of course. Do you or anyone in your household view sexually explicit materials? Nope. <laughs> when you're just stressed? What kind of self-care do you have? Um, so I have this meditation practice that I've been meaning to get off the ground. My senior year in high school, I ran a violin camp out of my house. And we had a pool and the kids swam. It was crazy. I can't believe that parents left their kids with me. I'd have just as much fun playing games with small children as small children do. On a scale of one to 10, how motivated are you to adopt? 10. Yeah. You are at 10? Yeah, I'm at 10. On a scale of one to 10, how motivated are you to adopt? I am like a 12. What do you want to do tonight? Ooh, let's get some barbiturates and have a living room dance party. Any barbiturates or downers? Oh. How about some qualudes then? They're pronounced qualudes. Well, Sharon called them qualudes. <laughs> yes, she did. One requirement of adopting from foster care is that you have to get a physical. So we went to see our family physician, Dr. Tiny. All right, give me some big breaths in and out. I'm gonna push on your belly now. Woo! Sensation doing the same on both sides? Yeah. <clears throat> Resist me pushing and pulling. Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Stick right. your touch straight up. Left, right. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Clean the bill of health. These are gonna be awesome parents. I'm so excited for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for raising queer babies. Oh, they're gonna be so queer. They're gonna be so queer. <laughs> Super yes. queer. The first word is going to be, yeah! <laughs> it's so early. I don't know why they do this Sunday at 7.50 in the morning. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you breathing? Oh, 
Hey, you, go call 911. What should I wear for Sharon? Kristen, what do I wear? I spilled three beans and I picked up two of them and I get away. <laughs> three minus two makes Okay. Divorce. <laughs> I have to describe this place. Oh, okay. In the home study song. That's why I'm steering. Mm -hmm. How are we going to describe this? Cozy, charming. Okay, we're talking zero to four. Mm -hmm. Male or female? We don't really have a preference. Okay. And your preferred ethnicity? We don't have a preferred ethnicity. If we're much with a child of color, we would definitely prepare for it. We know that transracial adoption is really complex. We're going to buy a thing. But that would be a big issue. Yeah. yeah. Like walking out and burning. Yeah. No, yeah. I'd burn myself. Religion. Or Jewish. Yeah. Jewish. I mean, we do Christmas. It's sort of like, what do they mean, religion? We're not going to be taking the kid to church. Unless they Unless ask. They say, hey, yeah. I want to go try church. It's all over the counter stuff. So. There you go. Although when a child is here, you can take the key out. Right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You open this up in summer? To uh, the windows. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to have to child proof that. Let's talk about drug exposure. We're OK with marijuana. We're OK with crack. Yeah. Heroin? Heroin, yeah. Now here's the biggie, parental mental illness. I'm pretty nervous about that, particularly schizophrenia. I feel like we can handle depression. Schizophrenia is so easily cheated today, though. If they it's, take their meds. If they take their meds. But I think, you know, case by case is, is a fair assessment. I know you want total openness, if possible. So why do you prefer openness? I don't really feel like there's any other way. fears about doing that? My fears come more from not wanting to put our child in harm's way. Yeah, I think we'd rather take on some level of discomfort if it means being able to answer all those questions and, and keep in place the relationships that are safe to keep in place. What if Cut they were a product of rape or prostitution? Right, but to lie about it or to conceal the truth is never healthy. I think, you know, we have to be honest about it, open about it, and help them begin to heal. And mm -hmm. maybe that involves a therapist and yeah. other outside help, but it doesn't mean you shut up about it and keep a family secret. Where do we go from here? What's next? From here, um, I have to write this all up, mm -hmm. and then I have to get it approved. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? Forward. What's next? Um, <laughs> And then I can present you to the adoption exchanges. And so mm -hmm. we're looking mm -hmm. at January. Okay. Then don't call me. <laughs> don't call you, don't you'll call, call you. us. We'll talk. Okay. Cheers to part one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should get salt and orange slices. BRB. What are we going to tell our family when we see them and they're like, how's everything going? There's this funny thing with adoption, right? Where it's like, you announce that you're going to do it. And then you're like, but don't follow up with any questions because it's going to be <laughs> right. a while. It's like announcing that you're starting a PhD program. Do you ever wonder if our child has been born yet? If they're like in the world? Yeah, I think about that a lot. Me too.